Hello and welcome to another episode of TIY. I'm here with Krusty. We're hanging out here. We're gonna be filming this episode together or he's gonna actually just get mad at me in about a second and scratch me and walk away. This episode is kind of like a bonus episode. What we're gonna be building won't be quite as grandiose as some of the other things that we've been building and I know what you're thinking. We haven't really built super grandiose things yet. We had a French press coffee and an omelet and a little bit of woodworking. But that said, you know, the projects will be ramping up in the next couple of weeks. Saf and I sat down plan on all the things that we want to start making on TIY. We want more baking, more woodworking, some knitting in there maybe. So there's gonna be more stuff coming up soon. We will be posting over the holidays. It's just been sort of a mad scramble the last couple of days, getting some of our current projects finished and getting ready to go home for the holidays. So that's kind of throwing a wrench in things. So I figured I'd make this bonus video right now because what I want to make in this vlog, I am dying to have. Look who's straight up taking my spot. Look who's back. So what I'm dying to make is a custom keychain that I can use to hold the fob for my building. This little fob is the master key to this entire apartment complex. You can't get in, you can't get out, and you can't get around this apartment without it. If you put the fob on your car key, then you have to actually stop your car every single time to take it out and buzz yourself into the garage complex. Because you can't put it on your car keychain, you have to hold it separately. To preface, I am kind of glad that we have the fob. It makes this apartment complex a lot safer, but it's so annoying because it's little. It's so easy to lose. Case in point, I lose it all the time. I could use an old keychain, it'd be perfectly fine. It'd be easy to see, I wouldn't lose it quite as much, but they're usually just filled with like sort of old keys and old yoga passes. So I don't want to have that on my keychain. I want to have something that actually is meaningful to me, something that has not only personal significance, but something that I can actually customize and sort of make myself. Now beyond the custom element of this keychain, I think I need to transfer some kind of good luck to this fob so I don't lose it quite as frequently. I'm gonna take some good luck trinkets, some lucky charms, and I'm gonna try to transfer their good luck onto the fob. I think that also that if I put things that have personal significance onto the keychain, that I'll just wanna lose it a lot less. So the first thing I really wanna add on is this poker chip. This poker chip is from the Wind Casino from Saf and I's last trip to Vegas. I've mentioned in earlier vlogs that I'm working on like a long-term project slash business. That was the first time that we showed our company to anybody besides sort of the team working on it and Sophia. Although it was a really small launch just for friends and family, it was really significant. It was our first chance to get feedback on our project. That first little feedback can be really scary. We had calls into question what you're doing, what you're spending your time on, and where you're trying to go with it. It was one of the most memorable days of my life, and this chip kind of reminds me of the good vibes of that day. To get this keychain started, I drill a hole in the poke chip. Now I've got my first lucky charm. Number two thing that I want to put on this keychain, I'm going to sound like a huge cat daddy right now, I'm not ashamed of it, and it is actually crusty. I said actually, I didn't mean actually. We're not going to actually put crusty. I do think that crusty is a lucky charm in Saf and I's lives, and so I want to have some kind of like memento from crusty of crusty on the keychain. There's a lot of elements to why crusty is good luck. I think his origin story is a big part of that. In our old apartment, we used to have these feral cats just kind of wandering around this backyard courtyard thing that we had there. These were like beautiful, elegant cats. They looked like lions on the Serengeti. They were all Nala. Okay, they were all Nala. There was no Pumbas in there. I know Pumbas not a lion, but you know. One day, the little dust mite, that's a name for Krusty, Krusty just shows up out of the blue. He's skinny, he's frail, he's like, his, his coat is all messed up because he can't groom himself. He has cuts on his back. He's missing parts of his ears. He has his balls. I mean, that's a big thing. He has his balls. Like, when's the last time you've seen a cat with balls? Krusty's eyes were completely crusted shut. Like, I know people have said in the past on Twitter, on Instagram, like, why do you call him Krusty? Like, that's not really a great name. It's kind of like a roast name. But like, basically, this cat shows up and you have these beautiful cats and you have like this like crusty little cat and Saf and I were just like just designating him as the crusty one the crusted one something about him made me cave it just made the cat daddy inside of me just wake up this photo right here and this is a this is a great memory is when we first went to PetSmart to start feeding crusty because crusty was so small and the other cats were such like real animals they were like boxing him out from actually getting to the food so we got him his own bowl and said we're gonna feed crusty this is a photo of crusty eating for the first time that day crusty went from feral cat to stumbling into our lives and ever since he's been here he's brought a lot of great energy 
and good luck to the family of me, Saf, and little Crust Mite over here. Might sound a little bit crazy, but I do look at Krusty a little bit like a guardian angel to us. We're gonna put this photo, which I, I cut out like a bunch of these. I went to the uh, Rite Aid to get this, and they looked at me like I was crazy because I printed a collage of the same picture of my cat over and over again. I'm hoping that Krusty's good luck to us will flow to this picture and then flow to the fob. It sounds a little crazy. I think at this point I'm just making like a fun good luck chain um, with a lot of mementos on it. But I don't want to lose the fob, so if this could, you know, help me not lose that fob, that'd be great. Okay, now for the second charm. I put the crusty photo into a little frame, fit the photo and tape it in. Now I'm ready to drill. With that done, I've got my second lucky charm. Nice. The last thing I want to put onto the keychain, actually, I'm not going to put it on today. I think it's kind of a cool idea that the keychain will grow over time. There's going to be new lucky trinkets, new things that I want to add to it, um, and also that I don't have time to actually finish preserving what I want to put on it today. It takes like two to six days, and I didn't really plan out how long it would take to make these trinkets for this vlog, so I'm sorry. But it's this, which is a leaf of a fatsai tree. My mom just got me one of these as a gift. A fatsai tree is a money tree. It's like a good luck omen, and you're supposed to put it in your office, your place of work, and it's going to bring you lots and lots of money. This has awakened, awoken, brought out a, just a little bit of a superstition in me, and now I'm really stressed out that it's going to die, and that's going to be a really bad omen. I'm not afraid of taking care of an animal, but I'm very stressed out about taking care of a plant. I'm basically still insecure about some first grade potato growing experiment where we try to like grow a plant out of a potato or something. I killed my plant on the first day, and I was disqualified immediately, so that's haunted me ever since, and I'm like looking at this fonsai tree, and I'm like, my future and my future earnings and wealth is completely tied to this thing. This thing is good as dead. My way around this stress is, is twofold. If this thing dies, I'm buying a new one. I'm just gonna say, hey, guess what? Like, I'm buying a new fonsai tree. Well, I'm not gonna get wealthy now. But second off is that I'm gonna preserve this plant so that this current fonsai tree can never die. So this is supposed to be good luck to make money. Well, I'm gonna make sure it never dies, but I'm making it an immortal. Now it's time to finish the chain. Add the poker chip. So satisfying getting things onto these. Now the crusty photo, and voila. Easy does it. And once I preserve it, I'll be adding the fonsai tree leaf as well. This came out really, really well. I know it wasn't like a huge project, it was really quick and easy, but it's definitely gonna help me not lose this fob because I actually just don't wanna lose this. Uh, I really like this chip and I really like this photo. I think it's really cute and I really can't wait to add to it. I, I like this idea of having something that kind of grows with me, that has these personal stories where each one of these things means something. I like the idea that the actual fob itself will end up probably being something that's meaningful. I mean, like we're not gonna live here forever and at some point we're gonna have this as a memento for this experience, for TIY, for just living in this apartment, for some of these early years of Saf and I being together. It's just like, it's always gonna be a great story that we can tell and I really like having it. If you like this episode of TIY, I know it was a smaller project, but you're saying, well, what? where are the big projects? We have big projects coming. They're gonna be really, really fun. The holiday projects are gonna be great. And when we get back, we're gonna be hitting the ground running in the new year and making even more things. So we're gonna be posting here the next couple of weeks. We're so excited for what we have on the docket. So this was a little project today. And if you're still watching this video and you like this video, like this video and subscribe to this channel. We're making making things, we're learning things, we're trying new things all the time. So we, we hope to see you next time in the next episode of TIY. Can't wait to see you then. I need to sign off. Maybe I should just throw Krusty up there. Krusty, he's dusty, he's musty and I love him a lot.